Hey, I'm NC513. So, since the previous video, a few gentlemen, the identities of whom will eventually be revealed, have uh, stepped in and offered some great technical advice. Based on those discussions, SLC began optimizing the world record turbo loader, and the current version is looking extremely impressive. So, what's happening today? Well, someone insisted we'd test what speeds we can reach when loading a certain much larger program than uh, the Arcanoid game in my previous video. So, uh, now I'll attempt to write the massive 62 kilobyte program ChukRam to tape and load it back at a speed of over 13 kilobits per second on an unmodified PAL C64. Also this time I'm streaming the tape image to the dataset through my 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus cartridge and uh, it should be done in just a few seconds now. It's done. So let's rewind the tape and uh, then the fun part begins. When the checkram program is executed, it will verify the memory contents and say either success or fail, so that we know if uh, all the data was correctly loaded or not. And in just a second, we will see a special greeting from uh, SLC to a special person who surely will appreciate it. It might be interesting to know that there was a little bit of turbo loading going on also during the phase with the plain blue screen. Just before the screen started to flash, there was a 1.4 second chunk resembling a typical Turbo 250 recording. But that chunk simply contained more loader data and uh, our 62k actual payload started precisely uh, at the point where the flashing effects began. And it's another huge success! The bitrate achieved here was 13,680 bits per second, according to the tape image mastering software. And regardless of how you twist this, you will end up with a number of at least 13,400 bits per second. That's an awesome result. Will this record ever be beaten using similar hardware? Maybe not impossible, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. Finally, just in case someone would happen to care, let's take a quick glance at the Chikram machine code in decimal notation by using the peak command and a simple for loop. That's all. Looking forward to new adventures, but for now, it's game over.